Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to Best in Beauty, a series where I take you to the most popular places for your beauty needs. In today's episode, we're going to be covering body art and specifically Jaguar tattoos. Now, if you're like me and you've always wanted a tattoo, but you're too indecisive to choose a design, Jaguar tattoos may be a good option for you. It's a form of temporary body art where the Jaguar ink is actually made from fruit juice, a special type of fruit juice, which stains the skin for a couple of weeks and the stain actually looks like a real tattoo. So today I've made an appointment with the best and first Jaguar tattoo artist in Singapore, Simon. She runs Hand Drawn. And if you guys remember, maybe like a year or two ago, we did a collaboration together where she taught me the art of you know, Jaguar tattoos and I did it on Alfred for the first time. It was actually a really fun video, so I'll leave the link up here for you guys to check it out. But for today's video, I'm going to be the one that she's going to create her masterpiece on. I actually left the design completely up to her. I said, Simon, just design me a custom piece. And yeah, I actually have no idea what she's going to do. Anyways, we're going to head to her place now. Alrighty, so I'm with Simon now. I'm actually at her place. You normally take your clients here or you actually travel out as well, right? Yeah, I normally take it here. So they always like come over and now uh, we were just discussing before on what she's gonna do on me we've all we've decided so far is she's gonna work on this arm yes and do you know what design you're gonna do Some, maybe a little bit a little <laughs> bit she's so she's just gonna wing it she's so cool yeah <laughs> i feel like it's been so long since we filmed that last video and Last time I remember I was just so nervous because I was the one doing it but today I get to relax and just unwind and let you do your magic. Um, but are you thinking like a big piece, a small piece? Uh... I'm thinking of a big piece, maybe at least a half sleeve. Yeah, we will see. Oh, okay. Last time when I did an outfit, we did the whole stencil thing. Yes, but I usually don't stencil so I just do it freehand straight away. She's so cool. <laughs> I'm just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get started. Inspired by how artistically inclined Tina is, I decided to anchor a piece around a famous oil painting from the 1700s titled Portrait of an Elegant Lady. I've always been a fan of Baroque style oil paintings because of how smoothly blended out everything looks. It also signified a period of time where the arts and culture were heavily celebrated and documented. I mean, it's very different because in Singapore, art often takes a backseat and Baroque seems to depict a kind of paradise that I've always wanted to live in. A world filled with lots of art, music, dance and architecture and surprise, you're actually valued for creating all these things. <laughs> Having seen Tina Forish trying so many different forms of art, I thought like a famous Baroque painting would be very very fitting. I almost always have flowers in my work. I chose the chrysanthemum and peony to draw on Tina because I wanted to juxtapose slightly oriental elements with the European painting. I am a fan of contrast and also I like to mix and match different elements together especially if they are often not thought to be matchy. Over here, chrysanthemums are a symbol of tenacity because they only bloom under harsh conditions where a lot of other species of flowers would wither.
Peonies generally carry a lot of blessings in the Chinese culture, including prosperity, beauty, good fortune, love, etc. etc. I also really really just love how it looks. I find that when you put the meanings of the two flowers together, it becomes like a symbol of strength in times of uncertainties. That is a very very important reminder throughout 2020. I tie everything off with a couple of threads that loosely weave around and connect all the elements together. I have been obsessed with completing my designs with loose threads lately because it adds a subtle hint of interconnectedness. That has been a huge theme for me this year and I kind of observed the same for others too, especially with the entire human race experiencing quarantine and isolation for the bulk of 2020. So here is a gentle reminder that we are never truly alone and we are much more connected than we think. Alrighty guys, wait, how many hours did this take? I think maybe four to five. Four to five hours because we were chit-chatting a lot, okay? I was just yapping non-stop, <laughs> not letting her just focus. But yeah, we are done with this piece. So you guys, I actually haven't seen it fully because I can only see it like upside down, but honestly, this looks amazing from what I can see. Okay, come, let me show you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what it is. I was like, I can see little hands, but I don't really know what it is. Oh my God, she actually was so quick. I think the centerpiece took the longest because it's so intricate with the shading and everything with all like the little hand details, material and stuff. And then the flowers, you were so quick. <laughs> yeah, she's very... like. Just la di da di da. Then I was like, what shall we name this piece, guys? I was like to Simon, you gotta name it. She's like, no, no, get them to name it. So <laughs> we're going to, uh, yeah, pick the best name and then maybe we can, um, maybe I'll think of a prize. I'll leave it all in the description box for you guys. Now, this has to dry. So how long do I have to wait before washing this? Uh, you have to wait for about three to five hours before you can wash it off with water. Yeah, but it's already dry already. You can actually touch it and see. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's gonna get darker or, or this is the sort of... The gel is different from the stain colour. So now it just kind of looks very like grey, black-ish. But after you wash it off, the colour will start to appear in about one to two days time. And it will be like a tattoo blue colour. Yeah. You'll see. Thank you so much. Oh, we'll have you. to do another collaboration. And she's launching an online course. Soon. Just putting it out there. Thank you. <laughs> There's no undoing it. There's no undoing There's no going back now. She's doing it. So uh, when that happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But yeah, for now, follow Simon on Instagram. It's hen.drawn, right? Yes. I'll link it. I'll pop it up on screen. Now you you now you can. Oh my it. god, yeah. <laughs> Now I just threw you under the bus. Yeah. So after a couple of hours, I did wash off the Jaguar tattoo and it did leave a slight stain. This is what it looks like. The ink will get darker and develop to that tattoo blue color in one or two days. It's, it's been two days and my tattoo has developed. It actually looks legit. It looks like a real tattoo. Look at this half sleeve, oh my gosh. I should have got Simmer to do this for my ABG transformation. It looks way, way better. But yeah, I feel like this new version of Tina. I feel like a badass Now in case you guys are wondering what this costs, just to give you a rough idea, Simmon charges about $90 to $120 per hour. This is Singaporean dollars. And it really depends if you have a design in mind or if you want her to customize something. She also has some workshops. So if you're interested in learning more about Jaguar tattoos, she holds small workshops at the moment due to COVID. Um, but you know, as things open up in Singapore, I'm sure her classes will get bigger as well. Overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I knew it would be okay for me to trust a professional because I'm so indecisive when it comes to designs and thankfully this only lasts a couple of weeks so this will wash off and if I wanted to try a new design I could easily book Simon again. Anyways, that is it to this episode of Best in Beauty. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and remember to turn on and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. 
that is it from me guys i shall speak to you guys next time bye i should like flex Ooh, well no it should be this way <laughs> i actually haven't showed my mum yet i think she would freak out no but she would know it's fake can't fool my mum. oh i feel like i've got bat wings bat wings Keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back.